can't believe she found that that late in a sale. It just got left. Everybody left it. How? How did everybody leave it? Three, two, one. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items that sold in July on eBay. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In this video, I'm going to share with you I froze like I haven't done this a hundred times. I'm going to share with you what Facebook members found in July that sold for big money. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And if you guys are not in the Facebook group, this is what it looks like. We are over 90,000 members going strong. Let's get to 100,000. Come join the group. There's a link down in the description under my link tree. Would love to see you guys over there. All right. So if you want to share a bolo to be featured in a video like this, go to the top under the featured section and look for the share post. All right. Let's get started here with the first big money bolo. This one comes from the Kitchy Kansen, and she is a Bolo Buddies member, which means she has joined Bolo Buddies memberships on my YouTube channel at level two to get the perks of having a mention in this video with a pop-up and a link down in the description of the video. If that's something that interests you, you can check it out. If not, no worries. So let's, let's see her Bolo. Again, this is the Kitchy Kansen. I picked up this jelly cat at a school fundraiser a school fundraiser garage sale where I got three grocery bags full of plush for a dollar. What? Three grocery bags for a buck? I believe it came to eight cents each. I listed it for $50 and within a couple days I received an offer for 41, which I accepted. I've learned a lot about plush values from Courtney and the Rebel Reseller. Thank you girls for your knowledge. Yeah, you guys definitely check out the Rebel Reseller also. She is incredible. Her and her husband are awesome. You're going to love their channel. The next one. Oh my goodness. We have a story here. Let's see what it says. I picked up this adorable bunny from the red, white, and blue store for $2.50. It was half off. So originally they wanted $5. I kept walking past this precious rabbit and then finally noticed it was half off. I spent the $2.50, took it home and researched comps. I knew some bunnies by the bay were decent and some are bread and butter. I never imagined I would end up with one that was rare. I only found one other listed like mine and decided to list mine higher since it was in better condition. I expected this to be a long tail, but to my surprise, this bunny sold on July 1st for full asking price. It took two weeks to sell. I am still new at this, but I'm loving every minute of it. I'm learning along the way and I'm getting closer to my goal of being a full-time reseller soon. Courtney, thank you for all you do. My husband and I started reselling in October, although it's something I've wanted to do for years. We finally took the leap and did it. We have watched you and admire you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. You put so much work into giving us advice and knowledge, and we are thankful. You have also opened the door for us to learn more from others like T Auctions for You and Rebel Reseller. You all are inspiring. Thanks again. We are so appreciative of you and the community. Thank you so much for the kind words. Let's look at this bunny on the bay. This is what it looks like. And it says 1998 Bunnies by the Bay, number 141, spring, summer, 29 inch candy, tufty bunny, 107.95 for that one. And she said they received positive feedback. So that is fantastic. Here's another plush. Found this vintage 1985 Animal Fair Henrietta dog stuffed plush at the Goodwill. Paid $2.99 for it. It was great, well cared for condition with only a scratch on one of its eyes. And you do want to disclose if they have scratches on their eyes because people that collect old vintage plush, they want to see that. So do close up of the eyes. It had its original tag and tag was perfect. I tried an auction with a starting bid of $129.99, hoping for a few bidders. Sold for the $129.99 auction start price and I am completely satisfied with that. Buyer paid immediately and I'm writing the day of the auction in. Hopefully by the time you use this, they will have left feedback. Update, positive feedback left. There was another Animal Fair vintage dog called All Better Buddies I found at the same time. Can't really find another one like it with original tag and band-aids still attached. 
I have it listed at a higher price than this one. Buy it now and best offer. It was also purchased for $2.99. With your help and advice, I'm hoping for a bigger return on that one. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the kind words. Check this guy out. Vintage 1985 Animal Fair Henrietta Stuffed Plush Dog with Original Tags, 19 inches, excellent condition. I went to a church thrift sale last Saturday and they had six of these for sale at $1 each. Brand new, all the same fragrance. I picked them up not knowing they were discontinued product. I just knew the price was right after I got home and found out they were discontinued product and they're selling for upwards of $50. I listed all six of them $50 each. I sold one within 24 hours for my full asking price of $50. And then this afternoon, I sold two to one buyer for full asking price. I have three left. This is a discontinued scent. This is what it looks like. It's Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Sensual Black Cur Current Vanilla. Nice bolo. All right, no information on that one. So we're going to skip that one. You guys, if you share a bolo, be sure to include a screenshot. I need to know where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. Okay, I need all that information. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap. This is her YouTube channel. She does do clothing and accessories and shoes and has an awesome channel. So check her out because you don't get a lot of that from me on this channel. And she is fantastic. Um, I paid $4.50 at Goodwill. It sold for full asking price of $71 on Mercari. Oh, yes. And this is not only eBay. This is Mercari, Poshmark, wherever you sell. You can share a bolo from any platform. It's a Miracle Suit one-piece swimsuit size 18. And this is what it looks like. $71 on Mercari. Oh, boy. Here comes Jerry, Jersey Shore thrifter. He's always got a story. This was an interesting auction. I found this box of old radio, TV tubes, and electronic parts at a yard sale. Negotiated a $12 price for the whole box. Decided to list it as a giant lot since there were so many tubes. I started the auction at 25 and was thrilled that when it, when it had a buyer, he paid quickly $160.39 plus shipping. It's going overseas via eBay's international shipping program. And this is what it looks like. Wow, look at all those. So you could definitely, definitely part that out. There's 125 pieces there, but that's a lot of work. So, all right. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member, I'm a resell it. And it says, I bought a lot of these back in spring of 2022 for $20. I sold the first half for 75. I listed the rest of them, 135 pins, and the same buyer bought the rest of them within three days, $20 into 165 plus shipping. Ken Griffey Jr. 1992 McDonald's pin set, lot of 45 sealed in the package, brand new. So I'm guessing probably a reseller bought this and they're probably going to part them out and sell them individually. I could be totally wrong, but who needs 45 of the same thing? <laughs> All right, this one comes from a rural squirrel. If you're not following her on YouTube, what are you doing? She goes to the Goodwill bins and brings you awesome footage of her bins hauls. Check her out here. I found these Whites brand boots at the Denver Goodwill bins and paid $1.59 a pound. Average cost of goods is $1.37. At first, I didn't realize when what they were worth. I just liked the way the leather felt, like such good quality. When I looked them up, holy cow, I accepted a best offer on eBay of $300. And that is what they look like. The original Packer boots. Fringe tongue. All right. I bought this book for $2 at an estate sale, and it sold for full price within a week. If you find the first edition or hardback versions, they go for hundreds. This is the Camp of the Saints, Jean Raspail, copyright 1975, preface to second something. I can't read it, but this is what it looks like. $89.99 plus uh, the buyer paid shipping. Bought this mushroom cruel picture at an estate hoarder sale last week. 
paid pennies for it, fill a bag for $5, listed it on a seven day auction and sold it for $187.50. People love mushrooms. Check it out. Fell out of my sister's basement ceiling when they were remodeling their new house. Huh. I listed it for her. Within three days, took an offer of $145. Plays on a 3DO player. Panasonic Blonde Justice Vivid Adult Game CD-ROM Interactive 1994 Rare. Somebody was hiding that one in the attic. Eek! Um, I'm not sure what an adult video game is, but... Some of those things cannot be listed on eBay. I personally would not list it, uh, but I check eBay rules, all right? I'm not sure on that one. I don't know what an adult video game is. Anyway, if you put something in the comments, just keep it clean, guys, all right? This is a, uh, this is a, what do I want? What do I want to call it? Be well behaved channel. <laughs> or you'll get bolo busted. Kidding. Kind of. <laughs> All right. If you guys ever uh, came over to Donatella Bottolino's uh, YouTube auctions back in the day, I would come in and Donna would say something goofy or silly and they'd be like, oh no, Bolo Buddies is here. We're bolo busted. So I know many, many of you have uh, been in the chats over there. So you know what bolo busted means. But uh, Donna is now selling over on Whatnot under Donatella. So check her out over there. Um, so sometimes when I go in there, she gets bolo busted as well. So lots of fun hanging out in her chat. I'm also on Whatnot. So I am live over there selling things. Super fun. If you guys aren't over there, I would love for you to join. I do have a referral link down below. You'll get $15 to shop if you use my Whatnot link to join. And even if you don't want to buy anything from me, um, check it out. You can use that $15 with somebody else, but I'd love for you to come hang out at one of the shows and just hang out in the chat. All right. So let's go on to the next bolo here. I paid a dollar for a bag of Angry Birds Star Wars telepods at a church rummage sale in June. I ended up putting several lots together, including this one, a Toys R Us exclusive, which sold for $32. I currently have three more listed all over $19.99. This is what it looks like. Angry Birds Star Wars Telepods Battle Droid Pig Shadow Trooper Pig from Toys R Us. It sold for $32. It's <laughs> just a little toy head. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds, and she has great bolos. Definitely check out her YouTube channel. You will like what she is selling. I paid $10 for this at an estate sale that had been going on for multiple weekends. I attempted an auction, but accidentally ended it after nine days. So just relisted high with best offers on. It sold in a few days for a best offer of $250. Even if I could have gotten more, I am happy. Oh my goodness, an estate sale that had been going on for multiple weekends and she only paid $10 for it. It's a gunny sax. What? It's a boho hippie dress. That is fantastic. Can't believe she found that that late in a sale. It just got left. Everybody left it. How? How did everybody leave it? Oh my goodness. Hi, new reseller here, third month and loving it. I bought this Eisenberg brooch for $17.50 on an online auction. I listed it in literally five minutes. I had an offer of 500 and 460. I accepted the 500 offer right away and didn't wait because the buyer is a reseller and will buy any brooches like this one from me in the future. Of course, I checked him out and he has a lot of jewelry sales and followers. It's worth having a buyer next time. I score a colorful Eisenberg brooch. He paid immediately as well. You know what I want to know? I want to know what he sold it for. Oh, I did a video earlier that um, somebody bought a brooch from somebody on eBay. And you'll see it in one of my videos. It's uh, from June. So go back if you missed it. For $500, they bought it on eBay from them for $500. And the person was a reseller and they sold it on their eBay for $850. So I wonder what this one was worth. So this next one comes from... 
piece of scrap. And she said, paid $3.75 at the Goodwill for a new with tags 2016 World Series Chicago Cubs jersey. It sold on promotion for $63.78 plus shipping on eBay. I don't know how much base... I don't know much about baseball, but I can sell a jersey. This is what it looks like. And where'd she sell it? Looks like it was on eBay. Okay, because she sells on Poshmark also. Majestic Chicago Cubs 2016 World Series Champions Pinstripe MLB Medium. Bolo. I picked up this Heron Trinket dish. I don't know if I said that right. At the Goodwill for $2.99 on July 4th. Posted it the same day and sold quickly on July 4th. This is what it looks like. Queen Victoria Leaf Trinket Dish. $60 is what it sold for. And that looks like it sold on, I believe that's a Poshmark. Yeah, I think that's Poshmark. And that's what it looks like. This one comes from Stellar Seller Sam, and this is her YouTube channel. She is a fantastic, super fun girl with awesome content. Check her out. Got this tiny Hello Kitty plush from a thrift store for 50 cents. It was missing some adhesive patches and had some wear. Sold on best offer for $45. Yes, look up anything Hello Kitty. All right, you guys, we're going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Head over to my Facebook group, join, and share a bolo under the share post. July might still be up or you may be into August, depending on when this video posts, but definitely check it out. I also have share your best plush bolo and another post that's up currently that says, if you bought an item on whatnot and flipped it for a profit on a platform, share that bolo. So thank you guys so much. Let me know how you found the channel and go subscribe and follow the eBay stores and the YouTube channels down below. They are a wealth of knowledge and you will definitely learn so much. Thanks for watching.